When visually analyzing heterogeneous data, a user is confronted with many different datasets. The user knows about his goal, but when many datasets are available, it is not clear which are relevant or which visualization techniques or algorithms are suitable to pursue his goal for a dataset. Also, when navigating through heterogeneous data, relations and connections are hard to remember and the user may get lost in the data. One example for a domain where heterogeneous datasets are common is the field of biomedicine. We chose a sample use case where the goal is to find a treatment plan for a newly diagnosed cancer patient. Many different datasets could be helpful to achieve this goal. There are patient histories, MR, CT or X-ray images, tissue slices, microarray datasets and many more. So the question is, how can we help an analyst find his way through these datasets? We have developed a model-driven approach for the design of a visual analytics system helping with these issues. The authoring of the model is a three-stage and seven-step process. We will now walk you through those steps. We begin by creating the setup model. In step one, the data manager creates the data description by first listing data sources and then linking them where possible. In step two, the visual analysis expert compiles available visual and computational interfaces to access the data. He then assigns the interfaces to datasets. In step three, he proceeds with compiling a list of analytical operators to which he assigns the interfaces. This completes the setup model, which can be used for orientation purposes. The domain model adds domain-specific tasks to the setup model. In step four, the domain expert defines tasks and connects them with the datasets that allow to execute them. Next, in step five, he continues with associating a sequence of analytical operators to each task. He now has a complete model of data, interfaces and tasks. Note that the domain model is general and applicable to a number of different goals. It does not describe how to reach a particular goal. To do this, we need to introduce workflows. The workflow is composed of the tasks defined in the domain model. In step six, the domain expert arranges them in a sequence that leads to the goal. This workflow for the goal of finding a treatment for a cancer patient contains two branches, both leading to the goal. In step seven, the workflow can be pruned according to the available datasets and tools. In this case, the imaging related steps were removed since the data is not available. This completes the analysis session model, which can be employed to actively guide the user through the analysis. To show how this model can be realized in a visual analytics system, we have developed Stack and Flip. Stack and Flip is a multiple coordinated view system designed to support seamless transitions between heterogeneous datasets. The datasets are shown as large symbols at the bottom. The interfaces associated with the data are shown as small icons on top of the data symbol. The visualizations, here a parallel coordinates view, are shown in the main area. Now the user opens a second view, which is placed in the center. Visual links highlight related elements in both views. To make a relation of a view to a dataset explicit, the views are connected with the symbol representing the dataset they are showing. This way the analyst always knows which view shows which dataset. To proceed to a different dataset, the analyst can navigate to other connected datasets using the icons on the right. In this use case, we guide the user based on a predefined workflow. The suggested next steps are shown in red. 
In some cases, preconditions need to be fulfilled before another dataset can be explored. This is indicated by an exclamation mark. To be able to proceed to the tissue data, the analyst first filters the patients. The user is then instructed to perform the next task within the analysis workflow, the browsing of tissue slices. Stacking up at the left hand side, the user is presented the visualizations he has already analyzed, thus providing a visual history of the analysis process. Having gained an overview of the tissue slices from the various patients, the analyst is then guided towards the next dataset along the chosen workflow, the gene expression data. Going back and departing from the red steps by exploring datasets unrelated to the workflow still allows for an informed analysis scenario as the user is shown at any time what exactly his options are. To prepare the data for clustering, the user has to filter the dataset. The authoring makes sure that a suitable visual interface to perform the needed analysis task was chosen. In this case, a parallel coordinate view since it supports filtering. The user then runs a clustering algorithm, the result of which he explores in the heat map. There, he finds an interesting gene and triggers the loading of pathways to explore its biological context. Continuing with the red steps one by one in the instructed analysis scenario guarantees that the workflow will eventually terminate by reaching the analysis goal. The user can then base his treatment decision on the knowledge gained during the analysis.